Hey guys, Bill back at you again with another video. And this one is going to be the final training of this huge Northern Light Big Butt. So I think it was about two weeks ago uh, we put a video up here where we defoliated and lollipopped this uh, Northern Light Big Butt. Um, she's grown quite a bit. She's put her leaves back on, filled them back in. So uh, let's take a look at her. Okay, so there she is. Try to get her all in one picture here. Okay, so she's done stacking. Um, she's not getting any taller. But she's, she's four and a half feet with, uh, with buds everywhere. Um, so she's done stacking, but now she's kind of trying to connect the buds together to form nice long colas. So I don't know how many tops there is here. Um, there's tons. So, anyway, what we're going to do today is, uh, you can see how bushy she is here. Uh, I'm going to take off some of the leaves here. Not a whole lot. I just want to open her up, up a bit. Um, and there is some leaves that still have the damage. Like I said before, that won't go away. Um, so, I am going to pick off some of these, uh, some of these smaller ones here. They, uh, they're pretty dried up, and I think they're, they're ready to come off, some of them. So uh, I don't want to pick off too many because being just over three weeks, uh, it's right around after between three and four weeks, I find, where they stop putting out any new leaves. So you want to make sure you leave enough to give them the photosynthesis that they need. So anyway, and then uh, I have some bamboo shoots that... I'm going to try to spread her out a bit just to give her a little bit more light, a little bit more uh, air movement in between the branches, uh, which is not going to be super easy because like this one here, I mean, the, the whole thing is connected. So um, I'm going to see what I can do with her, spread her open a little bit. Every little bit helps. So, And I do have... I do have some uh, bigger bamboo sticks. Uh, they're a bit bigger than the ones I normally use. But she kind of needs a little extra support there. Because when these buds start getting some weight onto them, they're going to be heavy. So I want something that I can tie them up. I don't want her putting in energy to, to try to strengthen the stems at this point. I, I just want bud. Just put all your energy into bud, little girl. Big girl. So, uh, I'll be sticking them down into the uh, ProMix HP and probably replacing some of these little ones here because they, they tend to bend quite a bit. So, these other ones are quite solid. Now, the one thing I don't really like is you can see down here, I don't have any pebbles on top like I normally do on this one. Um, there's there's tons of roots and when I stick that in it's bigger diameter so it, I am gonna damage a few of the roots but being a fabric pot is an advantage in this situation because if you're using a plastic pot or a bucket or whatever uh, the bigger roots tend to shoot out to the side searching for water searching, searching for food but once they hit that side, they just start to go around the pot and they circle the pot. So most of your roots are bigger roots that are just circled around the pot on the outside. Now when you're using fabric pots, you have uh, a process called air pruning that happens where the outside of the pot dries out. And also the, the layer of soil right around the pot also dries out fairly quickly after you feed or water. And... Uh, what happens then is the bigger roots that have searched out and reached out to the edges instead of just wrapping around the pot 
they'll hit that pocket of uh, of dry air basically and it almost burns the tips of those now what happens then is they will back build the root which basically means they're going to take that big root it's going to stop growing out and it's going to start putting energy into into uh, basically just filling that pot with smaller roots so instead of a a few big roots going around the edge you're going to have just the whole thing is just going to be a massive bunch of smaller roots so which gives it more coverage i think but it also is going to help me because if i do damage a few of the smaller roots there's thousands and thousands of other ones to to take their place and to, to do the job so all right guys i'm going to put you on the tripod here and uh I'm going to get to her, and it might take me a little while, but I'll fast forward it and give you some funky music to listen to, so uh, I hope you stay and watch, we'll see what it looks like when I get done. Okay guys, well I guess I didn't hit record before I started, so I've been at it for uh, probably a good 15 minutes now, uh, I've got her more than halfway done, so I'll... Uh, fast forward from this point on so you can watch the rest of it so I've already got uh, four bamboo shoots in here I've spread some of this out and uh, been taking off a lot of the damaged leaves here So this is what we've done so far. Um, this will be the last major defoliation um, training that she gets, uh, being just a little over three weeks in flower here. I don't want to do too much more. Uh, I'm not saying that in 10 minutes I might come back and notice an area that's maybe not lit up as well as I like or, or whatever. I might pull a couple more leaves, maybe bend down a couple more branches, but uh, that's pretty much pretty much it so let's take a look here okay so it might not look a whole lot different from when we started but uh, I put in five poles I didn't hit the record button when I started so sorry about that um, but uh, if you look from up top where the lights coming in it is opened up quite a bit more uh, lights able to get down into a lot more areas that it wasn't before so uh, there's still some like this little area right here that I'm noticing um, you got this one here and this one I'm I might probably pull this one up a bit out of the way and I might pull this one off to the side because even though it's gonna be a decent bud here 
the one in behind it is going to be much better. So you got to kind of prioritize which one you want to, you know, give the best lighting to. And because with something like this, not everything is going to get as much light as everything else. So you got to prioritize. But uh, definitely opened her up some. Pulled off a lot of the, uh, a lot of the damaged leaves. Not not all of them I didn't I don't really like to touch near the top of the bud sites too much um, no but uh, so I'll, I'll leave some of them on there they're not gonna hurt anything now they just gonna look like crap so all right let's take one more look at her from back here okay there we have her okay guys so that's going to be it for this video. Um, I hope you like it. If you like it, uh, click the like button down below. Share it to your social media pages if you like. Um, and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you like what you see, the plant, not me obviously, then uh, hit that subscribe button down below and, and you can see more, more of my content. Or check out my channel page and, and we can follow this girl. Uh, I've got a few videos of her when she was younger and uh, so a little bit of the backstory of her and, and why she has that damage so all right guys we'll see you on the next one and happy growing